What's up, y'all? Out here at the range, as you can see behind me on a nice sunny day out here, it's starting to warm up a little bit, but we got a little breeze blowing out here to keep us cooled down. One thing's for sure, though, even though it's heating up, I ain't got no swamp ears out here because I'm using these actual GS Extremes. As you can see by the title on this one, we headed back for another 9mm test. This one ought to be pretty interesting. These rounds were actually sent to me by Fred to test out for the channel. Uh, a lot of people were actually buying these things probably four or five months ago. They were on sale on a lot of sites online so I know a lot of people out there probably have a decent little stockpile of these. As usual, got the contraption set up at the ready, got my chrono, got two blocks of gel. Now I've done a couple of tests in this far block down here and they actually poked into this first block up here, but we should have plenty of room to do what we need to do down here in this first one. But as you can see, what we're talking about are the IMI Systems 9mm die cut jacketed hollow points. Uh, he sent them to me in 115 and 124 here. These things are really interesting as far as the jacket, the little little serrations, little cuts around the edges of them. So pretty interesting. I'm very curious to see what these do myself. Um, these are an Israeli-made ammo. So, And like I say, four or five months ago, they were everywhere online. I know a bunch of people were buying these things. As far as the tool we're going to be running these things out of, we're going to use the Taurus GX4 again here with a three-inch barrel. So uh, again, like I've mentioned in the past, I'm going to use these three-inch barrels, this and my 365 on most of my tests because that's just, you know, it's just a fact. A lot of people, these days are carrying these three inch barrel nine millimeters but i'm personally pretty curious to see what these do in the jail myself uh i don't actually have any i never did order any because i had plenty at the time but i know a lot of people like i said did order quite a few of these things and probably have a bunch of them around but enough of that carrying on let me get everything set up and let's get started all right y'all here we go we're gonna get some speeds on both of these rounds just like we always do i'm gonna do a three round average on both of them now there's absolutely no ballistics information on either one of those boxes so i don't have any idea what to expect out of them but we're gonna find out i'm gonna start out with the 115 grainers let's see what we get y'all Ten twenty. Ten oh seven. And 1074, not too bad. Let's go down and check that average out. All right, so the three round average on the 115 grainers was 1,033 feet per second. Kind of inconsistent on those. We had them up and down there for sure, but let me get this reset and let's check out the 124s. All right, y'all, let's check out these 124s. Uh, if I was going to guess just based on what we saw from them 115s, we're probably going to see right under 1,000 out of these 124s. So let's see what we get. 978, 998, and 1,009. So I figured right there under 1,000. Let's go down there and check that average out. All right, I called that one pretty good, y'all. The three round average on the 124 grain was 995 feet per second. And if you remember out of those 115s, it was 1,033. So you're talking about 38 feet per second faster from the 115 versus the 124. So not really a whole lot, 38 feet per second. That's not a huge difference, but it'll be interesting to see what both of these do in the jail for sure. Let me get everything reset and y'all know what time it is. All right, y'all, it's cut them up jelly time. We're going to start out with the 115 grainers and see what they do down there. I'm very, very curious to see how these perform. All right, went a little lower than I wanted, but I should be able to work with that. Let's go down there and check out what happened. All right, y'all, that was very interesting. That was not at all what I expected. That thing came completely apart down there. I mean, it looks like some kind of VMAX Varmageddon round or something down there. Very interesting. Like I say, not at all what I expected. Not necessarily a bad thing, but we'll look at it here in a second. So let's try this 124. I'm going to try to put this one above that 115 without going out the top. All right, a little bit over and up and to the left should be good. Let's go down there and check out what we got.
All right, y'all, that looks like a nice one down there out of that 124. Uh, believe it or not, I'm gonna take another shot at this 115. I don't know if, uh, I, I'm just curious to see if that's gonna repeat itself and come apart like that since the 124 stayed completely together and I can just already tell you, it, it, it performed very nicely. That 115's got me curious. So I'm gonna take one more shot. I'm gonna try to put it above it right to the right of that other 124, but we'll see how it goes, y'all. Put that right about in between both of them, but that'll work. Let's go down there and see what's going on. All right, y'all, let's take a look at what we got down here. This is some really interesting stuff, to be honest with you. I did not expect what we saw out of these 115s. Uh, so the very bottom one down there, that was the first 115. The middle one, that was that third shot I took, which is the second 115. And this top one is the 124. So as you see out of this first 115, this thing absolutely came all to pieces. It lost material right when it came in. This area in here is full of material, lead, jacket the whole nine yards down here at the end that bottom piece that's what was left of the jacket that came completely off of the lead and then the last chunk of lead is the piece that's a little up above that now that being said incredible wound channel i mean that's just massive devastation right there crazy crazy good wound channel action uh and the penetration on that is is really nice it looks like that's 15 inches where that chunk of lead stopped now i don't know if it's designed to do that but that would definitely get the job done right there there. we'll go with the next 115 that's right above it it actually started to do the same thing pieces of fragment all through here you got pieces of jacket all through here and you can tell this jacket just wants to come off of that piece of lead really bad but it held on to it so um, it kept more mass so it didn't go as far as this other one it looks like it's back here maybe I don't know if I guess I'd say 13 but we'll measure it here in a second now again on that one very nice wound channel on it but like I said it did stop a little short on pen penetration there as for the 124 on the very top up here this thing performed absolutely fantastic from what i can tell so far very very nice wound channel coming in here the projectile stayed completely intact it's turned about sideways it looks like it's expanded very nicely and it looks like the penetration is right at about 15 but we'll measure it here in a second and find out this first 115 that came completely apart is 14 and three quarters inches of penetration that's the biggest part of the lead 14 and three quarters on that first 115. Now the second 115 fell a little short. It stopped right at 12. So uh, most people would be fine with that even. So 12 inches right there on that second 115. As for the 124, you're looking right at 14 and three quarters on the 124. So basically the same as that first 115. So 14 and three quarters inches of penetration on the 124. I'll give you a couple of different views before I pull the projectiles and measure those. Uh, the one on the top 124, the one in the middle is the second 115. The one on the very bottom there, that's that first 115 that came completely apart. As you can see, I mean, it just came all two pieces y'all. The top one, you can see there, pieces in that one too, as far as that 115, but now the very top one, the 124, as you can see, stayed completely intact, very good mushrooming on that. From the side view, you can tell even more just how much that first 115 came apart. I mean, you can see lead, jacket, there's a big piece of jacket there, and then at the end, you got the rest of the jacket there, and then the uh, actual lead bullet there just turned around all backwards. The other two, at 115, you can see the fragments in its wound channel. But again, the 124 completely intact. Nothing going on there except nice wound action and then a fully expanded projectile. All right, y'all, let's take a look at these projectiles down here. I'll show you these two 115s first. This was the first one, as you can see, and here's the jacket from the first one. I mean, the jacket was completely separated and that projectile is just all kind of mangled. I mean, just that thing just came apart from the minute it entered into the jail. It just started exploding. Now, this is the other 115. It actually looks pretty nice. It lost some of its uh, jacket and lost maybe a couple little pieces of lead, but it actually looks pretty nice. So big difference between those two 115s. But I feel like if you ran a, a pretty decent sized group, you'd probably get about half and half. Cause like I say, this one just looks like it's wanting to come apart at any second, but it didn't on this case. Now the 124 here, it stayed completely together. It's definitely 
not expanded as much as the 115 you can just tell there but it kept all of its mass completely it didn't lose anything i can't see any lead jacket or nothing and like i said it didn't expand as much but that being said it's pretty nice expansion out of this thing to be honest with you but let's get us some weights on this stuff we'll start with the 115s first we'll start with this mangled one and see what it weighs so that one's all the way down to 86 grains that's what you had left on that 115 86 grains so that's the first one the second 115 114 so 114 on the the 115 that stayed mostly together now the 124 is 124.4 so yeah it didn't lose anything at all that 124 stayed completely together now as far as the sizes we'll start with this mangled 115 i mean it's gonna be hard to even measure this thing you're looking at like uh 0 0.43 0 0.40 and about 0.44 so just very really inconsistent like i say it was really mangled up as far as this 115 that stayed mostly together 0 0.60 0.57 and 0.59 so pretty nice expansion on this 115 here and then on your 124 got 0 0.54 0 0.545 and 0.538 so really consistent and pretty good expansion on this 124 also but there you have it y'all the imi die cut jacketed hollow point nine millimeters definitely some very different performance between the 115 and the 124 now this 115 that stayed intact it it's you know it's close to the 124 but it started it wanted to lose material really really bad and this first one i mean like i say this thing just went off like a grenade or something crazy crazy now that being said that's not necessarily a bad thing because it still had a massive wound channel had good expansion or good penetration on it so i i wouldn't turn that down if i needed to use that for sure but i think my choice if i was going to choose one of these would probably be this 124 just because it carried just as far as this 115 uh and and it's got more mass to it and kept all the mass down the line all right y'all another nine millimeter test for the record books this time it was the imi systems die cut jacketed hollow point very very interesting results out of these i was curious to see what they was going to do because like i say they were everywhere for sale four or five months ago and i i just never picked any of them up but i have been curious to see what they do definitely was not what i expected especially out of this 115 the 124s i think did fantastic the 115 was totally unexpected what we saw here i did not expect them to fragment all the pieces like they did now granted that second shot we took it didn't come all apart but it was definitely losing material along the way and just a little bit more i feel like it would have came apart just like that first shot but what do y'all think about the results out of these things i know there's some of y'all out there who's definitely got these things because like i say a lot of people were buying them up when they saw them online a few months ago so if y'all do carry these let me know what you think about what you saw here today and all y'all out there whether you've got them or not let me know what your thoughts are on what you saw here today if you were going to pick one of these which one would be your choice but if y'all enjoyed this video as always take a second and hit that thumbs up button subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification icon all of that stuff really does help out the channel check out all my field links down in the video description below you know the deal with amazon if you shop through there anyway hit that link first go straight through amazon like normal from there and anything you buy anywhere on amazon i get a kickback from them towards the channel so i really do appreciate that check out those axle ear pro affiliate links like i always remind you these gs extreme earbuds out here performing like a champ keep the swamp ear away my ears ain't sweaty my head ain't sweaty from earmuffs they are just performing fantastic i absolutely love these things so if you're interested in checking out some for yourself hit them links up you can save a bunch of money versus going straight through their site as always i appreciate all my range game members for hitting that join button and every single person out there who supports the channel by watching these videos hitting that thumbs up subscribing to the channel and leave me some comments down below again let me know what you think about these die cut hollow points working on a few more tests while i'm out here today so y'all make sure y'all stay tuned for a whole lot more good stuff and in the meantime stay safe stay prepared and i'll see you soon